As we look into the third trumpet, let us pray. Father, give us clarity by your spirit. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. The third trumpet is out of Revelation 8, verse 10 through 11. It says, The third angel sounded his trumpet, and a great star blazing like a torch fell from the sky on a third of the rivers and on the springs of water. The name of the star is Wormwood. A third of the waters turned bitter, and many people died from the waters that had become bitter. The symbols that we are going to look out for are the following. The great star, the action of falling from heaven, rivers and streams of water, wormwood, and bitter waters. The symbol of the great star can be understood because stars have represented angels in scripture. I believe we have covered that earlier on. We also notice that in Job and Psalm, the morning stars refer to angels. In Revelation 1, stars in the hand of Jesus, we see our, an allusion to angels as well, although we also notice that the angels in that context represented the human messengers that Jesus had in the churches of Revelation chapter 2 and 3. Revelation 12 and Daniel 8 also talks about stars that were swept from heaven. In that case, then a great falling star from heaven is a symbol of Satan. We know that based on Isaiah 14, where the morning star here falls from heaven, who is equated to Lucifer, and Luke 10, where Jesus made reference of Satan falling from heaven. The rivers and the springs of water are a symbol of spiritual nourishment. The book of Proverbs talks about the instruction of the wise is equated to a living fountain. The book of Psalm and Jeremiah talks about the one who follows God or God's word and the one who trusts God. They are equated to a tree that is planted by the streams of water. John 4 and John 7, believing in Jesus yields rivers or fountains of living water out of those who have accepted him. Wormwood is a representation of a bitter hub, or it's a bitter hub that is associated with divine punishment, especially with apostasy. For example, in Deuteronomy and in Lamentation, Wormwood was a symbol for affliction or bitterness, and especially here for people who were God's people and had been disobedient. In Jeremiah 9, a disobedient people will eat the food of bitterness and drink poison water of judgment. In Jeremiah 8, the prophets or wise men had actually profaned the word of God. These are symbols that are pointing to the punishment for apostasy. The bitter waters refer to both the source and the river being polluted. And that's why we see that, yes, the source, the spring, and the streams are polluted. The negative spiritual process with negative consequences. So when you corrupt the source of the truth or the source of the pure nourishing water, then even the entire consequence is corruption that takes place. Ruth chapter 1, Job 27, and Jeremiah 44 will be able to give you that picture. And so with that, dear friends, we are going to deal with the interpretation again in our worship service tomorrow.